Welcome to the Qatar Petroleum Laboratory at Dukan. At QP, we are wholly committed to the protection of the health and safety of our employees, contractors and the public, as well as safeguarding our planet's delicate environment. However, we cannot achieve this objective without your help, because safety is a shared responsibility. As a visitor or as a member of a contractor's team, you will be spending time at this facility. We therefore ask you to join hands with our team to ensure the highest possible standards of safety and security at all times while you are on these premises. This short video is intended to familiarise you with the potential risks and hazards of this laboratory, its state-of-the-art safety features and the appropriate action to take in case of an emergency. Located 80 kilometres from the capital city of Doha, the Dukan field lies on the western coast of the Qatari Peninsula. Meticulously developed since the 1940s, it serves as one of Qatar Petroleum's key onshore sites for the production of crude oil, associated gas, condensate and non-associated gas. The field measures about 80 kilometres by 8, with a maximum capacity of 335,000 barrels per day. Before the liquid stream can be pumped to Masaid for further processing, the oil and gas are separated, purified and stabilised to meet saleable pipeline specifications at the seven degassing stations that serve the Dukan field. The gas stream is further processed at the Fahar Hill stripping plant to separate out the natural gas liquid content before it can be used as fuel and feedstock. Another key facility at the Dukan field is Qatar Petroleum's on-site laboratory. The Dukan laboratory was established by Qatar Petroleum to carry out analysis which is critical to ensure processed products conform to required standards. The lab also helps in analysis of process anomalies and failure of systems. Its proximity to the Dukan field gives technicians easy access to fresh samples and a way to carry out analysis on site. On the other hand, its remoteness from civilian areas minimises the risk to the public. The laboratory serves to strengthen the nation's hydrocarbon sector and to establish Qatar Petroleum as an international leader in providing analytical services. The facility is carefully designed, constructed, tested, operated and maintained with safety as a key priority. However, a laboratory environment contains many potential health and safety hazards, including corrosive and flammable substances, toxic chemicals and sometimes radioactive materials, sharp materials and electrical hazards. Which is why all staff, visitors and contractors personnel are required to comply with these occupational health and safety instructions, policies and procedures at all times within the premises of the laboratory or its associated offices. Laboratory access is strictly limited to authorised personnel because many of the substances, materials and equipment require specialised handling and hazard control measures. Visitors are required to use the main entrance only. Guests who are visiting without the intent of conducting laboratory work do not need to undergo induction training. However, they must be accompanied by competent lab staff at all times while inside the laboratory. No samples may be brought into the office area. Such items are to be delivered at the dedicated sample reception area only. Any visitor who intends to carry out work in the laboratory must undergo the appropriate safety induction training as determined by the type of activity they will be engaging in. It is up to each guest to familiarise themselves with basic safety and emergency procedures, the correct use of safety gear and the nearest evacuation routes. Here are a few general points to keep in mind to make your visit pleasant and safe. Pay attention to the work at hand at all times to prevent mishaps and accidents through lack of concentration. Exercise extreme caution when using flammable materials, oxidizers, corrosive chemicals, toxic substances, compressed gases, sharp laboratory objects. Understand the hazards, safe handling practices and operating procedures of the materials, equipment and methods you intend to use. Consumption of food and beverages, including water, is strictly prohibited within the laboratory.
smoking is strictly prohibited in office and laboratory areas and in or near all chemical or waste storage areas. Store personal belongings only in designated areas. Avoid working alone unless specifically cleared by the lab supervisor to do so. Maintain cleanliness and decorum in all areas of the laboratory. Long hair is to be tied back or otherwise secured in order to prevent chemical exposure as well as to keep it from becoming entangled in equipment. Neckties are to be removed or secured ideally behind a lab coat. Consciously avoid hand contact with face or hair while wearing gloves. Make sure you wash your hands thoroughly after removing gloves or after working with hazardous materials. Take note of warning signs and obey the posted safety notices in every area of the laboratory. All areas within the laboratory are clearly labelled with the type of personal protective equipment that is required. Make sure you obey these recommendations at all times. Depending on the chemicals, materials and equipment being used, you might need to don any of the following gear. Eye and face protection. Respiratory protection. Specialised chemical fume hoods hand protection, body protection, proper footwear. If you're not sure about the exact type of equipment to use in a particular setting, ask the competent laboratory personnel for help. Being able to make the right decision in an emergency situation might well be the difference between an incident and an accident. Here are some scenarios you might be required to navigate safely in case things don't go according to plan. In the event of any hazardous substance splashing into your eyes, the laboratory has a number of eye wash stations to flush the eyes. If you happen to be wearing contact lenses, remove them as quickly as possible while continuing to flush. Hold your eyelids open with your fingers. Lift your eyelids and roll the eyeballs often so that the water can flow over the entire surface of the eye. Direct the stream of water into the affected eye for a period of 15 minutes. Then cover the injured eye with dry, sterile gauze and seek medical attention if necessary. In case of contact with your skin, every area of the laboratory also has a readily accessible safety shower to wash off hazardous substances. Remove contaminated clothing and jewellery and continue to rinse for at least 15 minutes before seeking medical attention if required. The laboratory has first aid treatment readily available for minor scrapes, scratches, cuts or injuries. In case the injury is severe, seek medical attention immediately. Stay well clear of any chemical spills and report them to a supervisor. Leave the cleanup to competent laboratory personnel who are familiar with the correct procedures to deal with different types of spills. Take a moment to familiarise yourself with the nearest emergency exit at all times when you're on the premises. If you hear a fire alarm, begin a calm and systematic evacuation. Leave all belongings and equipment as and where they are and make your way to the nearest safe muster point. Each area of the laboratory is equipped with fire extinguishers of the appropriate type for the potential fire emergency in that area. Attempt to fight a fire only if it is small and only if there is an escape route behind you. Do not attempt to fight the blaze. Raise the alarm and evacuate immediately. You may get in touch with the Dukan Emergency Control Centre at these numbers. Do not, under any circumstances, re-enter the facility until a fire incident commander signals that it is safe to do so.
While we all act positively to prevent ill health, injury, damage and loss, accidents and close calls sometimes happen despite everyone's best efforts and intentions. If these incidents are reported and reviewed, they can be a stepping stone towards building better HSE policies and improving the safety performance of the laboratory. So, let's make it a point to report even seemingly minor incidents or near misses and together we can build a culture of collected awareness and responsibility towards health, safety and environment. Thank you for taking the time to review the safety features and regulations. By monitoring performance standards and ensuring that they are implemented at all levels, Qatar Petroleum hopes to build the safest possible environment at this facility. Remember that most personal injuries are avoidable if safety consciousness is exercised at all times. Each one of us is responsible for our own safety as well as those working around us. We are counting on your cooperation so that together we may build a secure and healthy workplace free of incidents or injuries. We wish you a safe and productive visit.